Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Nickel Audio Tutorials. I'm Yong from SG Audio Hive. Okay, so for today, uh, we have we have with us these RHA T20Is. Uh, these are the RHA T20Is. Okay, um, they came in for uh, MMCX modification and uh, we are going to transplant some of the, the components over, I mean the, the shelves and the parts over to an older model which... Uh, yeah, so I do have two, two, two of these with us today. Uh, so what am I going to show you today is uh, basically we are trying to show you how to open up the shelf uh, properly for this model. And uh, we'll be doing a MMCX modification on it uh, to use uh, MMCX connectors. So in this particular uh, mod, we will be using the it's a long shape MMCX connector. It's a long shape one. So for this, uh, the links, uh, I'll put it in the description uh, where you can buy it. Uh, and yeah, so let's get into the video. Alright, so we have here the RHA. So the, the very first thing we want to do is to remove the the earbuds. And uh, we will be opening up them. Uh, this is the new set, so we will be opening up the shells. Okay, what we'll need here uh, is uh, a sharp pen knife and uh, some blue tacks. Uh, we need a heat gun or a, a torch. So basically what we want to do is to apply heat on the body itself at the joint. Oh, we also need a, a very thin uh, prying. Uh, this is a pair of tweezers. Uh, you can have a very, very thin plastic uh, piece for prying so we'll just generally hit the area and uh, of course uh, which with all processors uh, we do not want to hit them for too much so this pen knife will go into the the part line here and you see uh, the part line actually comes apart uh, this is from the heat uh, because there are some glue here, minimal glue, and uh, they are actually friction fitted together uh, with a minimal glue. So while it's still warm, this is uh, not too hot. We will put uh, our prying piece uh, into the into the slots and try to get them open. Uh, in a while, you can see the inside. So we are open. Uh, we have done with one side. As always, uh, I will be only showing you one side of the modification, uh, so that uh, we will save time. Okay. Once we have the inside, we, we can take a look. Uh, we have these a uh, few components here. Uh, that are that are actually uh, inside this uh, RHA. So we have this blue uh, strain relief strain relief part. The blue strain relief part. Uh, this is the driver itself. Uh, it's mounted on the, on the onto the casing. Uh, there is a hook right here. There is a hook right here for. Is to hook up one of the springs inside the the wire. And uh, the issue with this uh, this IEM itself. Uh, I mean the the one that we always uh, see is that uh, the part where we have the memory wire, they start to have issues, they break, uh, the spring cut com starts to come out and everything. This has been, this issue has been resolved in the latest model. I, I think even now they have a removal, they have a removable option already. So, okay, this is the set that we actually want to mod because uh, this is the better sounding set of the two. So, I'll be using uh, the parts on here to to be implanted onto this, uh, this older model uh, because the wire is already uh, out and uh, Okay, we'll always we we'll also take out the left side of this one. Okay, so like I have mentioned just now, uh, the there is a spring for that. Uh, I will be showing you uh, in a while for for this one. This is the newer casing. 
that we are going to replace. Okay, uh, as we remove the strain relief, uh, this is a whole assembly. It's a rubber plus. It's a rubber assembly. <coughs> there you will notice that uh, they are actually really connected. The spring is connected to here. So right now I am going to remove this uh, these wires. So we need us to so unsolder them. And uh, we have to pull it out of the. We have to remove the spring. So one of it is the spring, one of it is the wire, the memory wire. So right now we are left with the bare drivers. Okay, so ideally, uh, ideally we want to to put this here. And uh, have a flash. Uh, a flash uh, outlook but it is impossible at uh, at this uh, shape so the the thin stem of this uh, mmcx connector actually is not able to to fit into the the long part here easily so we do have to use a dremel to to shave down very just a bit of it you have to shave down both sides uh, both the lap, both the cover the face plate and the and the body so uh So it's just a bit. Okay, uh, be very careful when uh, using a Dremel on a metal IEM or any other IEM because uh, sometimes the 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 Dremel will, will hit at an angle and uh, it will cause the it will cause the the bit to fly and you may scratch the outside. So uh, we want to avoid that as much as possible. Okay, so right now we do need to attach the wires. So uh, I will not be using the the stock wire from there. I'll be using enamel wires. So I need four of those. And like as always, the center part, the center pin will be the signal, and the ground pin will be anything else outside. So uh, we'll be connecting them, uh, the signal and the ground, for this uh, IEM. Okay, once this is done, we want to solder them onto the driver. Take a look at uh, the driver. So the red side is the is the signal side and the non-colored side is the ground side. So we will be connecting them together. Okay, so right now we will be using epoxy for this uh this part. I've already pre-mixed some epoxy, uh, so uh if you didn't know already, epoxy is a I mean epoxy party is a A B mixture, so you have a uh, part A and part B, a resin and a hardener. So we will mix them together thoroughly, and uh, they will uh bond and uh become a very very hard uh substance. So we make a long shape. We will install them here. And the same for the other side. And what we want is uh it to fully cover all the all the screw side. I mean the the the, the screw threads so that uh they will hold it properly when hardened. Do not worry about the excess uh, because we can use a needle to Okay, so once we have uh, close up both the sides, you can see all these uh, gaps and all the 
ugly looking kind of resin. We just use a pen knife to cut them out away. And they'll push in the, the connector so that uh, it the excess will even ooze out more. Uh, at this point, we want to use a very sharp tip or toothpick of or any very small needle to, to get them out. And we are all set. We'll let them cure for two hours. And that's it.